Hi, my name is David, and I've just participated in a I Hope course over the past six weeks. At the end of the course, I volunteered to say a few words about it and the involvement in it. So here goes. I was diagnosed with kidney cancer in September 2020, and early October had my right kidney and adrenal gland removed. I am naturally quite a positive person, and outwardly tried very hard to continue as such, because obviously I wanted my family and friends to feel I was coping well, and that everything was progressing as it should, and particularly as the NHS in Huddersfield had been really helpful. On one of my scan visits, my cancer nurse gave me a folder, which included details about support from Macmillan. One of my daughters picked up on this and, strongly, suggested that I contact them. I think she realised more than I thought she had, that I was putting on a brave face. They're clever like that, aren't they? A couple of days later, I rang the Macmillan number to be greeted by a very pleasant lady who asked a few questions and told me I'd be very welcome to join on a virtual course on Microsoft Teams that was starting shortly and running for six weeks. Never having had the need to use Microsoft Teams, I expressed my doubts, but she suggested trying out on my computer to see how easy it was, and incidentally it was. I think that retrospectively the reason for my reticence was that I didn't really want to commit to sitting in front of strangers and bearing my soul, when deep down I was feeling quite emotional and trying so hard to keep that from the family. However, the lady very gently persuaded me to try and give it a go, and if I didn't want to continue, then the choice was mine. Not a good start, though, as I missed the first session, having had a pre-arranged hospital appointment. However, I took on board the homework we were given and found it was quite easy to be open and honest with my computer. One of the first items was for a feelings board to identify a number of one-word comments about how I was feeling. It's quite easy to be honest when you are just typing into the computer, but I suddenly re realised that the scared, worried and fearful were actually quite high up in my feelings. I then decided that in for a penny, in for a pound, I was committed to the course. I had my first meeting the following week and was warmly wel welcomed by the three facilitators and a number, and quite a number, of other participants, all of whom gave a quick praise of their cancer journey, and of course, I realised that I wasn't the only one going through the emotions that I felt. As the weeks progressed and we had our weekly debrief of our homework, again I realised we were all going down the same path, even though some had recurrent cancer, some diagnosed a considerable time earlier, and some having had all their treatments. The weekly get-togethers by computer quickly became a, a highlight of the week, with no one hanging back with their comments, but also quite a lot of laughter. It was as if we had all formed our own special group, which was being cemented at the weekly meetings. As we completed each section of the course and put in our comments, we were all regularly encouraged by the other members, and it became the first thing that I looked for as I opened my email box, as someone commented or liked what I had put in my comment section, or goals I had set, or achievements that I had made. Likewise, I had pleasure in responding to the comments and goals from my other new friends. Having spent all my working life in business, when I said I would respond to the course, my natural inclination was to do a SWOT analysis, which by experience I have found helpful to explain to others the positives and negatives of courses. So purely, so purely from my own viewpoint, strengths, the course has a range of strengths. The format of the course, i.e. work from home, and then the strengthening of that at the weekly meetings. The range of topics discussed. The choice of videos, and particularly the cartoon types that I liked. The balanced amount of participation in the work at home. The range of participants, cancer cuts all boundaries the experience of the facilitators and their ability to direct the meetings. Weaknesses. The only one main weakness that I identified was that technology, and technology doesn't always come easily to, to many old part, older participants, and they could be put off by virtual meetings. 
opportunities. Whilst it is time consuming, the benefit of running a course like this to the patient, I believe, is excellent. I found it good at my, at my stage of diagnosis, and obviously others did at their stages too. So maybe ongoing courses could, could be run on a similar format. And threats. Too many participants on a course, which would then limit the interaction at the weekly meetings. It's a major task for facilitators to try and get a balance between those who are verbose, a bit like me, and those who are maybe a little bit shy and don't speak up in large groups. But of course their input is still very much valued. And also to be unable to access the details after the course finishes is a threat, as whilst the course may have ended, invariably our treatment hasn't. So it will give us support to be able to refer back to the notes ongoing. To summarise, I found the course overall very beneficial and even, I have even planned on some parts to involve my family. I am no longer as concerned about talking to friends and family about my condition and in fact at times actively invite discussion on it. There were some items in which I wasn't totally sold but understand that everyone is different and I noticed that in the discussions most found the items that I wasn't keen on are positive. Incidentally, the feelings board, one word answers, has now changed somewhat with the interaction result of the course. So I would like to thank Coventry University for putting the course together, to thank Macmillan for adapting it, to thank the facilitators for inviting me and running the course in a very professional and caring manner. And finally, to thank my course colleagues for the friendship and support they have given me over the past six weeks. Thank you.